a hello from a very hot and humid Johannesburg, Gauteng, South Africa. For the few people that still watch my YouTube channel, welcome and thank you very much for still watching. Today is day 49 of Gabriella's stay in hospital. I'm still waiting for Johan and Shanae to come back to go and do their Sunday visit. I'm at home with Rowan. So I thought I'd just give you guys a quick update. Gabriella is doing very good considering the issue she has with her lungs. The doctor actually did say to us that her lungs are very bad. And at this stage they are trying different and new methods to help her. The big problem is that her left lung has a lot of damage which causes air pockets if they're ventilated wrong and the right lung is has scar tissues. So the best I can explain is and what I understand from the doctor is because her lungs were so immature at 24 weeks and then forcing the lungs to actually start working it's actually like taking a bag and tearing it to open. This is not very good but as all of us know, there was a necessity to keep her alive and keep her with us. At this stage, she is only getting ventilated when she's lying on her left side. She cannot lie on her right hand side because then the left hand side will in over inflate. If that over inflates, it literally pushes on her heart and on her left lung. She is a little fighter. And in all intents and purposes, the only issue that we have with Gabriella is that her lungs are not very good. Thank you to the grace of God that there is no brain bleed, no intestinal and stomachal issues. Um, she is growing very fast. She is enjoying her feeds. It varies from day to day depending on how she feels, like all of us will have our off days. She's getting food every three hours, between 10 and 15 moles that gets given to her over an hour period. And then just before they give it to her uh, two hours later, they will check how much food is still in her stomach. She is still on conventional ventilation as she is not breathing sufficiently or the correctly to go onto the CPAP machine which means that we will have to wait another couple of days up until today we haven't even held her. I have loaded a lot of pictures on my Facebook page. There is a Instagram page that we also update now. And thank you for everyone that follows us on Facebook and Instagram. And thank you for all your prayers. All I can say is God is good. God is a miracle worker and... We are so grateful for Gabriella every single day. It's difficult for myself and your hand to stand next to her every day and not be able to pick her up and hold her. And as of yesterday, she is officially the longest staying patient in the ICU currently as another baby boy that was also a prem was in the ICU for 110 days and he actually went home. So we all celebrated that one for he went home, not on oxygen, and mommy and baby are doing good. At this stage, we are taking it day by day. It, ta it takes a lot out of me to send out the update every single day. Because I sometimes feel people are going to think I'm lying if I say today that she's doing good and tomorrow she's doing badly. Myself and Johan have been present three times now where everything is going perfectly and all of a sudden she stops breathing. This is because she's fighting against the ventilation machine. She doesn't like the pipe, she wants to move. I have also put up a nice video this morning of how busy her little eyes are, how she wants to look around. But the pipe that's in her nose for breathing doesn't allow her to move her head. And that is where our big problem is. Yet again, I want to say thank you to the nurses and the doctors. They are wonderful. Yes, I don't always understand 
all the terms i don't always understand all the treatments but like i've said to them and i'll say it here on this video i'm not a trained doctor i am not a professional my profession is marketing and drafting and estimation and my dream is to teach and i think this is what i want to achieve with this but i'm no medical doctor the last I had any to do with the human anatomy is when I did biology at school. These people are dedicated. These guys, ladies, are professionals. Our doctor is a miracle worker. She has saved Gabby on so many occasions. She doesn't give up. The nurses, we know each and every one personally. Some of these ladies have become personal family friends to us. Some of them are very good friends. They understand my weird sense of humor. They understand Johan's style and diplomatic way of doing things. And they're just wonderful and supportive. So, in a nutshell, we are still going on. We're still going strong. I'm still continue to ask for prayers. Gabriella still needs a miracle to get these lungs 100% right. As wonderfully strong and healthy as the rest of her body is, we are not over-exaggerating when we say we need intervention from God and angels to help with these lungs. They vary from day to day. And they are very bad and they are very sick. We are battling with inflammation of the lungs. We spray battling with scar tissue on the lungs we battling with her inability to saturate because the lungs are so bad there is a cardiologist coming to check her every single week she has started eye tests in this week so it means every week her eyes will be tested to make sure that the oxygen levels are not affecting her eyesight um, to getting regular brain scans or brain sonars to make sure that her brain is still looking good and no issues there. And as of this morning, she is 40 centimeters long and she's weighing 107, one, one, one kilo. Oh, yikes, I just pulled a check of Zuma there. <laughs> she's weighing 1,171 grams. <laughs> so sorry for that. And this wasn't meant to come out that badly. But trying to convert the grams into kilos, my brain is actually a bit tired. So yeah, you guys can have a good giggle on my part. And I give it to you with love. So please guys, I appreciate every single one that watches, every single one that participates. Um, we appreciate every single message, every note, every thought. I know it's been a long road. I know 14, 49 days is long time to keep track of someone's baby and i promise you it's not easy for us either but please know and understand and trust that it. it means the world to myself and johan and it means the world to it to us that people are still wanting to know how it goes and still praying when we ask for prayers and still thinking of her because she is a very very special little girl and She's very special to myself, Johan, Shanae, and Rowan. Uh, it's a bit difficult for my kids. Also, Shanae is in grade 11, going to matric next year, so studies. She has to work hard and still have this pressure on her. Rowan is turning five on Wednesday. Well, my five-year-old is turning six on Wednesday, sorry. Yeah, my brain is really fried today. Um he doesn't understand why mommy goes to the hospital every day and not bring his sister home we did get him a little bunny but he's a boy he's not toy playing with soft toys he just wants his sister it's causing a bit of problems with school but we are working on it but yet again thank you very much for everyone please follow my youtube channel please share it if you would like and please continue to follow us on Facebook and WhatsApp and Instagram. I promise to update every day, even though some days I'll, I can't think of what I'm going to tell everyone without sounding negative. It's very hard. 
some days to give you guys updates because we don't don't know going to bed that night what is going to be the news for tomorrow there is many a night that I don't sleep and I worry and I pray and it's hard it's very hard I can't explain to you guys I can't explain to you guys how it feels to look at your baby girl when she stops breathing and she turns blue when she cries and you can't hear her voice when those big blue eyes look at you and you know she's begging you to help her it's hard some days you don't want to go to the hospital because you don't know what you're going to get you don't know when they start rushing up and down if it's for your baby so for every mom that's gone through this I understand how you feel your journey was different than mine, but I understand how you feel. For all the mommies that is going through this journey with me, strong moms, strong. We can do this. We can do this. And for all the mommies on pray that's pregnant or battling, I pray that you never have to sit in this situation. I pray to our almighty God that his love and guidance will prevail and every single baby in this world is healthy and happy and goes home to mommy and daddy like they're supposed to. I wish everyone love, light, happiness and peace tonight. And I hope and pray every single one of you are happy and safe with your family. And have the power and the knowledge of knowing that our God is a wonderful God that works miracles. And he listens. We don't understand his answers always, but he does listen. Thank you, everyone.